Hi everyone. I think it's pretty well known and accepted that a lot of the way in which we work will be migrating onto the cloud. Autodesk has got some apps that are built around the life cycle of a building and recently I've been looking at BIM 360 plan which is built around the building site. So lean construction principles and having a work schedule um, worked out for the site and people giving real-time feedback on activities that are supposed to happen and what is happening. So I decided to have a quick look at how to get started with BIM 360 plan. Uh, for the administrators or the um, guys that have already worked with BIM 360 docs you will be familiar with the login and I'm showing you this to attune you to the fact that you will have to administer users not from BIM 360 docs but from the BIM 360 plan app itself you can see I do have it available, although I'm not going to go there directly. I'm going to go through to the docs. And then I want to go to Project Administration. Now when a project is set up, the choice is there to activate the service for the new generation apps as well as plan and let's have a look at the member permissions and apps that have been services that have been assigned here in the last column we can see plan but we are unable to access this in fact there's a message that says to modify access visit BIM 360 plan project admin okay so this is not where we manage that from we go to our BIM 360 plan there and there opens the BIM 360 plan. We've got our project admin at the top right where we can set some information shows us our administrators for which days scheduling is applicable whether there are holidays and some root causes for whatever is happening and then some PPC targets if we want to add these Now we can set up companies we can add members the members may be from different companies and they might also have different roles the locations within the project is important I recently watched a great presentation by a project manager which shows how various teams of people are on a project building site at any one time so they would like to be operating perhaps on different floors but so that they don't get into each other's way and then there's also a workbook structure which can be attached to tasks I'm using the British systems to add to the workbook structure there might be many standards to, to follow whichever one is applicable to your project
Right, so here we can also move the workbook projects, items, workbook structure up and down the list. It's best to collapse them and then move them. And then if we exit administration, we are now at a position where we can add items. The items have an ID that is automatically generated. It could be one of various different types. Milestones are events at the end of a sequence of events. An activity which might be indicated by some code and a description. A company that is responsible, a person, the locations that were set up are available here. And then the work breakdown I'm specifically interested in this area over here let's see if we can edit this sort the activity by name edit the task and then we should be able to apply the correct Workbook structure item, the one that we've just created. So when the activity is set to start, its duration and its finish, its status, some notes, and further information on the item that was created. So this is how or where it would all start with the project manager um, adding tasks or events that will happen on site that must be tracked and completed and then for future reference for later blogs we will have a look at the swim lanes where it's shown per company Gantt chart where we can change the dates and we can pull some reports as well. So in essence this is how one would start by setting up plan, BIM 360 plan, adding activities and one can even import activities according to an Excel spreadsheet which is available for download. So instead of going through the process of setting one activity up at a time, you are welcome to do so in an Excel spreadsheet as well. So I hope this is a very short introduction and has helped you. If you are looking to get started with your BIM 360 plan, then that sh uh, should get you started. Um, quickly set up your members, your companies, your workbook structure and add activities start using BIM 360 plan. Until next time, keep safe.